The beginning. On October 8th, 2003. Two years. Before the 100 year celebration of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. A blockbuster scientific paper was presented that rendered the theory of relativity obsolete. The paper called The Basis of the Vortex Theory was presented at the 53rd International Conference on Nuclear Spectroscopy and Nuclear Structure. Nucleus, 2003. Sponsored by the Russian Academy of Sciences, taking place at the Moscow State University in Russia. November 12, 2007. At the 49th and dual meeting of the Division of Plasma Physics of the American Physical Society in Orlando, Florida, a new scientific paper available to the world explains one of the greatest mysteries in quantum mechanics. Entanglement of particles, or better known as quantum entanglement. The paper title, The Explanation of Quantum Teleportation and Entanglement Swapping will do just that explain what quantum mechanics cannot the real question is how are we going to transfer energy wirelessly the recent discoveries in quantum mechanics has started a worldwide race to understand quantum entanglement top universities and companies like ibm and hp are spending millions of dollars in r d no scientist in the world understands the phenomenon of quantum entanglement the vortex theory is the only theory that can explain quantum entanglement. Utilizing the vortex theory we can now transfer energy to any part of the world, wirelessly. But, what is quantum entanglement? Entanglement is a phenomenon in nature that was defined by the theory of quantum mechanics. Quantum entanglement is being studied worldwide. When particles are emitted by the same object they are connected to one another even if they're separated by a large distance. They can be two feet apart, or thousands of miles apart, but are still connected. If we do something to one of the particles, the other responds instantaneously. We say then that they are entangled or still connected. What does this mean? To explain we are going to use a transatlantic experiment conducted last year, between France and the United States. Shown are two pairs of chips next to a quarter to compare the size. The chips were then irradiated in France, with a Clinique Saturn 43 accelerator. At this stage the chips are entangled to each other. Here we see Professor Robert Desbrandis coming out of the clinic with the irradiated entangled chips. One pair of chips were then labeled as the master set and mailed to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The other pair were labeled as the slave set and stayed in France where each one was placed in the photomultiplier multiplier cylinder. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, the master pair was then heated up, using a domestic oven. As the temperature goes up and down, the slave chips in France record a signal. Heating up the master chips in the United States, produces results in France, at the same moment. The chart shows the correlation between France and Louisiana. When we do something to the master pair, the slave pair responds instantaneously. This is entanglement. But two fundamental questions then occur. What is the mechanism by which the second particle knows what is happening to the first one? Why do we have an instantaneous action between particles, which contradicts general relativity? Einstein called this spooky action at a distance. He thought that the theory of quantum mechanics was not complete and that an answer to these questions will one day be found. In 1935, the einstein Podolsky and rosen paradox was published. The conflict between Einstein and quantum physicists dealt from the fact that he believed that God was not random in his creation of the universe that God created the universe precisely without using the principles of probability, as demonstrated in his famous statement God does not play dice. There has never been a prediction of quantum mechanics that has contradicted an observation. But quantum mechanics cannot explain quantum entanglement. 
Einstein's theory of relativity has been tested, but cannot explain what occurs at the quantum or atomic level. Einstein spent the last two decades of his life trying to come up with an answer, combining all the laws of the universe into one encompassing theory. The theory of everything. Today scientists have been trying to come up with such a theory. The latest and most talked about is the string theory. But the string theory is a theory of philosophy, there is no experiment to test or prove it. Generally, the conflict between relativity and quantum mechanics has been ignored. But when you talk about a tiny space like a black hole or the Big Bang, there is a problem with all theories.